Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself Bateson87. Today we're going to be looking at the Czech Republic, not done it yet and I thought I would take advantage of one of the legends and build a team around him basically. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description use discount code BH7 to get a bit of discount off as well. And if we try and hit over 5,000 likes that'd be awesome. Check out today's earlier video if you've not seen it and remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. So with that said guys, if you do want to see your best possibles in the future make sure you leave a comment down below and I aim to do the uh, ones with the highest rated comment in the next weekend. So, with that said, guys, let's get on and build the team. So, in the goalkeeper position, it's obviously we're going to go within the goalkeeper position. We're going to go with Petr Cech. Absolutely insane goalkeeper on the game. Reckon he's going to be around an 83, 82 next year just because of his lack of game time. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he does move from from Chelsea as he's expressed his wish to leave now. In the centre-back position, in the middle, we go with Sivok, who, at the time of making this video, he was rare. Is he still rare? No, there's one on the market. So he is quite a rare player to get hold of. One of the early team of the week five, I think he was. Um, a very average centre-back anyway. 80 defending, 80 physical. In the right-hand side, we go with um, the fast, one of the fastest of the two, which is Suki. And on the left-hand side, we do go with Kalas as well. There is two versions of Kalas, so it depends which one you want to get. In the CDM position, on the left-hand side, we go with the reader, And then on the right-hand side, we do go with Polak. Apologies if I'm butchering names as well. It happens. Welcome to uh, the channel of Bates and 87. It happens a lot. In the right midfield position, we go with uh, Gabriel Selassie. Very, very good player, actually. 80 pace, 75 dribbling, and 70 physical. Not a bad player for running down the wings. I actually enjoyed using him in this team. In the left-hand side, we go with the legend, which is none other than Nedved. The first, this is the first one we've done with a legend in a while. And he's really, really cheap as well uh, with the price ranges intact. 83 pace, 83 shooting, 83 passing, 87 dribbling and 80 physical. That is some nice stats for a left midfielder. In the cam position, we go with Riziki, um, still playing at Arsenal, dropping down in ratings every single FIFA, but a very tidy player. 74 pace, which is a bit low, 81 passing, 84 dribbling. In the striker positions, and this is where we actually have some very, very nice players. Underrated players as well, I must add. On the left-hand side, we've got two versions of this guy. Now, I need to talk about this. A lot of people were saying that one of them was untradeable, but it's actually because he um, had one card. He transferred to a team. He was there for a couple of days, um, and then he transferred back. So, you can actually, if you go and have a look in your club, there's a high possibility you guys may have two versions of him as well. Nothing different about them apart from the issue date. In the right-hand side, we go with Vidra as well, the uh, Watford striker. We actually had it like that, and Vidra... Honestly, he's one of the best silver strikers I've used on the game. 82 pace, 75 shooting, 71 dribbling. Doesn't say much, but in-game he plays like an absolute tank and it was a pleasure to use him. Even next to him when nested, he is really good at finishing. Even though he's only got 72, 76 shooting, sorry, 72 pace um, and 74 physical, this attack is very, very good. Especially when you're abusing the wings, you can cross it in and abuse him. Or you can even dribble with Vidra as well. He's a very, very good player. So guys, in front of you is the best possible... Um, Czech Republic team. Yeah, Czech Republic team. If you have enjoyed it, like, rate, and we very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And um, let's go and show you the highlights we did get with the team. Leave a comment down below with the best possible club, nation, or league we can do in the future, guys. And I'll aim to do them in the next couple of weeks. So let's get on and have a look. Now, initially, I was honestly going to go down the um, go down the side of Nedved a hell of a lot. But I decided to change my mind and actually start using um, the right-hand side as he was a very good player. That Selassie guy was very, very good. Now, Nessid and Vidra, like I've explained, guys, are two very, very fun strikers to use. Very clinical as well, as you can see them linking up very nice here. Riziki was a bit of a letdown, but to be fair, with the stats you've got at Cam, you're not going to be uh, doing much with them. But with the two CDMs and the defence itself, it was a very solid defence. We did concede a few goals, but that was made down to my crap defending and the fact I'm having to use a 3-5-2 yet again. And the reason I do use a 3-5-2, guys, is mainly because um, all the high-rated players don't seem to um, don't seem to play left back and right back. So that's going to be a, um, a repeated theme on all of my best possible squad builders. With Nedved, though, we actually paid 231k for him, which isn't that bad. And in the uh, eight games we did play. With, Actually, sorry, in the eight games we played with him, he got eight goals and eight assists, which is pretty, pretty good, to be honest, um, considering he's a left wing. But I was trying to abuse him, like I did say. But Nessid, um, not really, not many people like to go near him. Two-star skill moves isn't really a turn on. But in the four games, uh, sorry, eight games we did play with him, we got four goals, which was not that bad. And most of them, most of them were not that good looking either, so they're not in here. With um, Vigil, though, guys, I paid... Um, 
Actually, I had him as a first owner, but I don't know how much. I presume he's going to cost around 5,000 coins, um, if not a bit less. But if you guys are looking for a cheap silver striker who's Czech and plays for Watford or a championship striker, um, definitely recommend picking him up. He was fun to use, and you never know. You might see a squad builder with him in, in the future. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, a like it would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And remember to check out the earlier video on from today and also the one coming later on. I think you guys possibly may enjoy it with Finch. So drop a like, rate, and subscribe. Until next time, see you all later. A very, very nice to see you there.